Oh. Ooh. State is fucking muck, man. How's everyone doing? Here we go. Hello, everybody. Charlie boy, Josh, Warren. Boom. Ben. Oi, oi. Jordan. Tony K. Trent, Snook. Yeah, I'm sweet, mate. You all right? Ready to rock and roll tomorrow. We've got a new forklift driving starting tomorrow. <sighs> so we'll see how, see how he is. <laughs> could be good, could be bad. Evening, uh, Mark Crossy from Ireland. Jordan Howard, are the videos coming back next week? They are indeed, mate. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Would you hire another apprentice? I've basically got fucking free starting, and that is me done. After this lot, if they let me down, I'm done. I am done. <laughs> I give up. <clears throat> Was on from Cornwall Bay. Jason Reeks. All right, mate. What editing software are you using for your videos? Only iMovie, mate. It's free. Does the job. I could probably spend a bit more time editing, but if I did, I wouldn't be able to upload every night. Kevin, yeah, I'm videoing this week, mate. We need to see more of Amy's dinner. Babe! They said they need to see more of your dinners. All right. All right. <laughs> We've got a, a new slow cook. So we're chucking loads of shit in the slow cook before we go to work. Because we're both working, it, it's so hard to get home and want to cook. You end up fucking <laughs> deliveroo, deliveroo. Luke Thomas, what would you rate your jobs organising and how well it's run? What, the job I'm on at the minute? If you're talking about the job I'm on at the minute, it's just, it's a new site. It's just starting off. So it's a little bit all over the shop at the minute. Um, so I'll see how that goes. We've got a new forklift driver starting. I've got a couple of jobs um, I've got that I can price up. And if I, if I think... The site ain't going to turn out too good. I'll probably end up doing... Uh, I've got a couple of big mansions that, uh, that I've been asked to price. So, depend if the site runs smoothly and I'm earning all right out of it, I'll probably stay there. But I'd like to... Uh, do Here's my lens. Let's have a look. Show everyone what you got. Grapes. This is Amy's lunch tomorrow. Grapes. Red and black grapes. Red and black grapes. Raspberries and blueberries. Raspberries and blueberries. Cherries and strawberries. Cherries and strawberries. And then. And this then, is for me and you, because you know you're not going to fall asleep. This is for me and you. Oh, there's no lid on it. Leftover dinner. It looks like a big pile of cichlet. Vegetable casserole. <laughs> that is my vegetable casserole. Mmm. <laughs> Covered in pepper. Covered in pepper. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've got a couple of big mansions to price. Well, I've priced one, um, not the other one, because they haven't given me adequate drawings to price off of. But they're, 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 a, bit, they're a bit more... Um, I don't know, do you think it's be a bit boring if I could stay on a site for four years building square boxes? I need to change up a bit, don't I? What do you reckon? Liam Burns, yeah, I'm ready for tomorrow, mate. You ready for tomorrow? I'm on the trial tomorrow, aren't I? Amy's on the trial tomorrow. But I'm only 
training him for three days this week. Legends here on the scene. <laughs> Carl Jackson. Mate, I'm 15 going to college and want to do Brickland. And what do you recommend to do at college? And what do you recommend to do at college? Whatever, mate. I mean, you know, in, in all honesty, plumbing's probably one of the best trades to be in. You, it's all year round and you work every day. Bricklaying, you're probably losing two months a year. So, I, I don't know. Plumbing's probably... One of the high, high, uh, consistent highest, higher earners, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. consistent higher earners. Do you think Gator backboards worth thirty five quid each? Um, I didn't pay that, and I do think they're worth every penny. But I think the price that they're putting it up is unbelievable <coughs> for a plastic board. But it does up your efficiency. So technically, you do. They are making your money, really, if you compare it to using a, a wooden board. But yeah, do you get the stonework job? Uh, I haven't priced that one, uh, the stonework one, because they haven't given me the adequate drawings to price off of. What's on the menu tonight? Uh, we got lent. Vegetable and lentil soup <laughs> casserole that I made. Yeah, I'm recording again tomorrow at Elite Units. You need to hit the, hit the weights, lads. <laughs> I do hit the weight. Can I just do what I want to do and clean out? This is a, this is a bad angle. Huh? Can I just clean out how I want to do it? Yeah, do it how you want. What are you trying to sound fat? Babe, someone's trying to sound fat. Well, tell them to fucking do one. Tell them I'm all muscle. You're all muscle? Thank you. I'm all muscle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Latasha. How would you get away with working on the same site for four years with the IR35 law? Don't know what the fuck that is. Is it illegal to take Amy with you to site? No, don't be daft. No, I didn't have a roast dinner today. Would you say joinery is good as a apprenticeship? I ain't got a clue, mate. Stop talking about money. That's what make the world go round, though, buddy. You ever slept a site manager with a trail? <laughs> no, no, I can't. You're getting a lot of trouble now. A lot of trouble. It ain't like you used to, is it? Four years guaranteed money. Good for you, savings. Do you reckon? But... I just I think I get so bored building square plots every day, day in, day out. Mind numbing. Which GoPro do you recommend? I use the uh, GoPro Hero 7. I've got two, two of them. How long did it take you to learn bricklaying? Still learning it now, mate. <laughs> it's something you're learning every day. Uh, you you should be able to run into a line pretty quick within five, six years. Knowledge should be pretty good after ten years. Brush your hair. I better for you. I better. I'm brushed. There you go. Beautiful. Looking pretty again, look. God, I can't wait to get a fucking haircut, I tell you. Pretty again, look. I have a shave tonight and all, I think. Grade one it. Oh, I don't know, I look like a right fucking bellend. <laughs> all right. Uh, 
We keep getting agency hoddies. They are awful. You have trouble getting a decent hod. Um, well, I have had trouble finding one that's any good, really. I mean, the one I've got at the minute, his knowledge ain't the best, but he's all right, actually. He's not too bad. Uh, he's getting on with it. I've got another lad starting tomorrow. He's going to be on the hod. He'll be learning a little bit of on the trail as well once once the plots are all fully loaded you know I, I like to let them have a day on the on the trail here and there do you ever suffer with back pain not really mate um we obviously you see me um using my stands and boards don't you so uh it minimizes the bending all day rondon jr yeah you too mate Joshua Collins, how did you? Joshua Collins, how did you come across them trail mates? Uh, that's just me being me, really. I, I like to try and find easier ways of doing my job. Uh, I'm forever searching Amazon and fucking eBay looking for stuff, bricklaying, all the time. I just put, I just bought another trail. <laughs> uh, Marshalltown, nine inch wide, London, I think it is. Uh, <laughs> just for the sake of using it, really. I've got. i just cleaned up about 10 trails, all lovely, lovely, lovely WHS ones. Um, I've cleaned them up. They're, they look like new. Uh, I, I've still got a fucking old box full of them to get through. <laughs> you ever thought of using a drone to film some of your work overhead? Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking about it. With like, um, if I do prestige jobs, but not building square plots. Michael Hall, I'll, I'll cut it off and send you some over, mate. <laughs> Should you just chuck it all in, yeah? Huh? Just chuck it all in. Yeah, uh, you want to chuck like three, three pints of a. Uh, Yeah, just chuck them in and then chuck like three, three pots worth of that stuff in. Chuck four, three stock cubes in. A yeah. uh, couple of spoonfuls of garlic. Um, and chuck a couple of, um, couple of cups of lentils in. I've lost where I was. Skinhead for the boys. <laughs> nah. Nah. I look like a bellend. <laughs> Smash them bricks down this week and get plenty of videos for us. I'll try my best, but like I said, I've got a new, new forklift driver <clears throat> starting tomorrow. I uh, just went and bought two new wheelbarrows um, today so I can go straight over to the silo, fill them up, chuck them in the back of the van and drive them over, get us started, because I can see us not getting our, hot, uh, our forklift till about half eight. And I'll get there at like seven o'clock. Yeah, mate, I've got my re white suit ready for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm Nigel, there is something about the Tricky Bricky. He's a top fella as well. Yeah, he's a good lad, oh Adam. I work for a brick uh, brick baron, mate. Um, I, they take their cut, which is a bit annoying, really, but they pay well, they pay on time, um, so I can't really grumble. Uh, and if I have people working for me, then I ha I, all I have to do is book them into them and they pay them, pay all their taxes and stuff for me. Saves me having to do it, which <laughs> it ain't hard to do, but it's just something less you got to worry about. Richard Cook. Yeah, I know, mate. Open there. 
I've been slacking on the old uh, diet. <laughs> I think it's the angle, mate. It's got to be the angle. Uh, hang on. There you go. It's gone. Better? Is that a better angle? <laughs> I'm fucking looking up from down here, mate. That's why it looks like I've got a double chin. <laughs> Charlie, I love my job, builder, but I hate Mondays, you. Oh, I can't wait to get back to work on a Monday. <laughs> I fucking love it. Tom Smith, when do you know you're ready to go on price from day work? <laughs> when you grow a pair of balls and go, go for it. <laughs> nah. Um, let me think. I don't know. I, I was bricklaying for, I don't know, 10 years before I went on price, maybe eight. Not too sure, can't remember. But you'll make mistakes, believe me. When you first, when someone first goes on price, they think, oh, I'm going to make loads of money. And then you, you start realising there's so many things that can sl stop you from earning money. And then... It puts a lot of people off even bothering going on price work. So it really does take different breed to make good money on price. Um, some people are quite happy just to go, right, I'm earning 180 a day or £200 a day. Just turn up, plod along, book my day in and get paid it. There's so much less stress involved with day work, um, which is why a lot of people... They're like, they, they're on day work and they'll go, oh, I'm earning him loads of money. But really, you're not. You're not really, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just having a nice, easy day at work and you ain't got nothing to worry about. So, uh, you know, if, if you're good with your money and you're quite happy with like a day work rate, it's so much less stressful. Um, you know, the more you earn, the more, more stress in it or something like that. How much of a hard graft being a hottie is whilst going to college to get more qualifications as I'm up for hard graft for a decent pay? Is that a question? I don't understand. Do you think Adam got some last night? <laughs> don't know. I reckon he needed a couple of Viagras, though. <laughs> if he did, he's in a right mess, wasn't he? Evening, Jolly Ollie. Been struggling with the level and plum. Any tips? Uh, when you're first starting off to level stuff, whenever you're le leveling your first corner brick or corner block on each course, make sh a lot of a lot of brickies will, you know, if they're building a corner, they'll lay six out one way, six out the other, then level it. But I find when I'm doing my corners, I'll lay my first brick, put it to gauge, level it on top both ways and then plumb it and then work off of it. That way um, you've got a brick to eye to that's already level and plumb. Don't know if that will help, but that's how I level a corner anyway. <laughs> More money, more problems. Yeah, you're right there, mate. Mulan. Hi, Charlie. I'm a second year apprentice on price in Dublin, getting 800,000. Do you think it's a bad thing being on price so soon, working with an experienced bricky to keep me right? Fuck no. Give me a job. <laughs> 800,000. That's the sort of price I'll get on my, on private. It's not fucking hell. I only get about five five fifty a thousand. Only well five fifty a thousand on site. More you earn, the more you more you earn, the more you spend, Charlie. Not me, mate. Not me. I save my money. What, to be honest, what what is there to spend money on at the minute? <clears throat> I don't gamble. 
I don't really drink anymore. What else is there to do? Can't go anywhere. What? Takeaways, yeah. I've been having the old takeaways, yeah. Sean Pennick, evening, mate. Do you trust Amy to give you a lockdown haircut? I have asked her. She keeps saying no, though. Amy? Yeah. Can I have a haircut? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Skin fade? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Should we live a skin fade? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five to ten years' time? Uh, ten years' time, I'd like to say I'd have my first few houses built with my own money and selling by myself. Because I think that's where the money's really at, is, you know, maybe buying uh, a little bit of land, but it's so expensive these days, so expensive, and it's so hard to come up, come across. <laughs> Funniest thing you've seen happen on site? For me, it was our hottie sparking the fault to drive it out for not bringing our tub till 11am. <laughs> that would probably be me Monday, mate, knocking out the forklift driver. Spend it on trowels. <laughs> well, them trowels only cost me two quid each. The going rate in Dublin is around 85 to a pound to a euro a brick. What's that it's into English money then? About six sixty p a brick. How have you enjoyed all the time off? I haven't had any time off. Just the weekends. Where do you live, Essex? What size are you on, mate? What do you mean? What size am I on? How do I source my labour? Uh, well, recently, it's been people getting in touch with me from YouTube. Um, so hopefully, by them realising how much I sack people, they might actually pull their finger out. Why is the price per thousand so low? I know people who get a pound of brick down. Or is that a load of bull? Uh, depends. If you're site bashing, it's usually around uh, 500 to 600, 1,000. But if you're doing private work and, and uh, pricing your own work, then, yeah, you're probably looking at a pound of brick. Can I chuck food in it? Today? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah? Yeah. Oh dear. <sighs> I heard forklift drivers are the best paid on site. I used to sort my forklift driver probably 50, 60 quid a week, every week. And then I'll give him like a uh, 400 quid bonus for Christmas. What you pay a decent hod. Uh, well, if someone's like plodding along all day, I'll pay 120s. You know, if they're fucking running around riot and, and rapid and, 
uh, there early all the time, probably around 150s. Um, but you've got to be good in my eyes to get 150 a day. Self-employed brickies in the Netherlands are earning four to five hundred per thousand. Forty to fifty per hour. <laughs> Jamie Tucker. Question for Amy. Did she use Amy? Did you use the app with practice tests or just books and revise then? with your health and safety test, is the app worth it? Guys, the app is absolute shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? Everything in the app wasn't in the test. Everything that was in the app wasn't in the test? Yeah, I used the book. Well, there's your answer. Don't buy the app, use the book. I used online mock Huh? Online mock tests. Use online uh, mock tests. Mm. Dessert. Dessert. What's for dessert? <clears throat> Did you? What? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tell us more about the house you plan to build for yourself and why you don't buy the land now and sit on it. Because I can't find any land. <laughs> I just can't find none. None that I want anyway. It's the, it's all like multi-million bits of land around my, the areas that I want. I suppose it's who you know, isn't it? What's that? Babe, you're making me fat, look. I've got double chin. People are taking a piss out of me on here. Yeah, it's the angle. It's the angle. It is the angle, see? They're going from down there. Yeah, exactly. Hang on. There you go. I look handsome from this angle. What are you fucking laughing at? <laughs> What's... What? Lost where I fucking was. What was the trail mate Amy had last week? Uh, it was just like a Magni belt or something, and then we cut it up. Um, I'm not too sure what it was. So that seems to be alright though. No need to revise. I didn't revise for my CSCS test. Would you take someone on? Honestly, I've got so many people asking me for work. And I, just, I keep, I've said yes to quite a few of them now. And that is it for me. Um, I can't deal with taking any more on. It's too much in one go. Um, I love working as a one on one, but I can't help but try and teach people. But then when people take a piss, I get rid of them. <laughs> Do you know someone called Andrew Eakins? Yeah, I know Andrew, yeah. <laughs> Get yourself Cordock, Carduck, Stringline. 
Best on the planet. I'll have a look at that. Where's that then? Is that on Amazon, is it? Any Bitcoins? No, not for me, mate. Must be a beauty filter. <laughs> Get up north, we can earn 150 per meter squared on Flint, labor only. Nice. How much she covering a day then? 600 quid a day? You ever been to Felix though? Yeah, I've been Felix though. Do you think this is a joke? Um, it's a silo, mate. It's all pre-made. It's just you press a button and it comes out pre-made, mate. Jolly Jolly, you got a cold coming. Yeah, I um I suffer with um <sighs> I'm always getting a blocked nose. I don't know what it is. I would you, what would you say it is? I've always had problems with like that part of my nose. I don't know if it's where I got fucking beat up, head butted a few times, but I've always had trouble breathing. You can tell by the fucking size of it. You fucking laughing at the size of your nose. <laughs> uh, tell us more about your green muck boards. Uh, I've eaten too much, and I. They are mortar board. Uh, they are gator back mortar boards. They um, they're plastic. Hard wearing, they need a bit of a clean actually. All right. Hello, AJ. How you doing, mate? You all right? Huh? Yeah, it's going, is it? <laughs> what trade is the most smug? Uh, I don't know, mate. I'll just get on with my job, so I don't really know what the other trades are getting up to, really. Size B, size A is too thin. Corduck, Corduck line. Yes, Corduck. Corduck, 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 Corduck. Sweet, I'll, I'll order some of that. Tooley. Hi, Charlie. I just left school and I was considering bricklaying as a career. But I spoke to a bricky and was told not to be... Back pain and arthritis. Yeah, a lot of bricklayers are renowned for back pain and arthritis. But arthritis is actually caused by um, carbohydrates in your foods. Um, it's actually linked to, um, we're actually supposed to run on fats, healthy fats and um, vegetables. We're not actually, we've only been um, digesting like carbohydrates for the last 10,000 years and our bodies haven't actually adjusted to consuming it yet. Like bread is like a no-go for, it's like one of the biggest things for causing arthritis. Um, so, Arthritis and back pain is down to um, diet and looking after your body, not the job that you're doing at all. Am I on the wine? Nah, I'm just tired, mate. I fucking, uh, I've had a busy day. I've been cleaning up loads of trails. Uh, give me old level of clean. Took the dog for a walk. Took Livy out. Is your dad gluten free? <laughs> I'm on the seafood diet. Yeah, mate, I've been on that diet plenty.
You're not meant to give bread to the ducks. <laughs> yeah. Bread, is, if you eat bread, you're just asking for trouble. Full of sugar. Full, it is, bread is like the biggest causes of, like, links to so many diseases and people are fucking consuming it like fuck. And milk. Milk is actually poisonous to our body and people don't even know about it. What healthy fats? Go vegan, Charlie. I, I actually went vegan last week uh, and I, I only lasted a week and I got pissed up on the Friday. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got pissed up on the Friday and then it all, yeah, I went back to eating shit food again. Oh, UK exclusive. Thanks for the super chat. Keep up the good work. Get a coffee on me. <laughs> I am not having a coffee at this time of night. Jesus. I won't be able to sleep till about three in the morning. Wait, well, hey, so I reckon I'm going to retire from bricklaying? I don't know, mate. Fuck knows. I love it. I'll be fucking... I'll be... Even when I'm in my 70s, I'll probably be teaching it. Bread's a no-go. Bread, uh, James Jones, honestly, mate, bread is the biggest no-go. It is like, it, it spikes your blood sugar levels the highest out of pretty much every food going, which is why when you eat some bread about an hour later, you're hungry again. Uh, it's just so many bad things in bread that it does to your body. You should look it up. Uh, is bread bad for you? Look it up on YouTube. Do some uh, research into it and thank me later when you stop eating it. Wholemeal bread's bad. All bread is bad. It's wheat. Our bodies aren't designed to digest wheat. It's, uh, it's full of sugar. Sugar's like the biggest cause of cancer. It, sh it feeds cancer cells. We basically... Our, our, our actual, like, um, our, like, daily diet is like most people's daily diet is a high cancerous diet. And let's be honest, they're never going to cure cancer. It cost, think of all the money they make from people um, giving money for cancer and how much they make off of fucking uh, treatments. They're not going to want to stop treating people, are they? Samuel Horn, you think it's brainwashing? Do some research, mate. Do some research. You, f if you think about it, think about it. Could if if you didn't have machines or anything to make bread, what would you eat? You wouldn't eat bread, would you? You'd eat what you can find in nature. Our bodies are designed to take what's given from nature, not all this artificial food from fucking uh, shops and. Oh fuck no! I don't know. I'm shattered anyway. I'm going to bed. <laughs> chip butties are the best. I love a chip butty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love fish and chips. Rather live life eating what I want than eating rabbit food. Mate, look, there's there's plenty of nice healthy food out there that makes you feel good. If you if you consider um, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I like a nice little treat on a Friday night, uh, maybe even a Saturday, but overall, really all you're doing is choosing food 
for your taste buds over what your body really wants. You, you, you know, for like five minutes of satisfaction of your taste buds over to feeling miserable. Because food, you are what you eat. Do you know what I mean? If you eat shit, you feel shit. You know, I know that when I when I have a fish and chips on a Friday night, even though it tastes of bollocks, I feel like shit after I eat a fish and chips. But, you know, when I eat my vegetables and fruits and drink plenty of water, green tea, I feel the bollocks. You know, it might not taste as good as a fucking fish and chips and curry sauce, but I feel good. And, you know, you get plenty of work done when you feel good. Is bricklaying physically tough? It's only as hard as you make it. Carbs all the way. Yeah, but it depends what type of carbs, doesn't it? You know, you've got complex carbs and then um, the other ones, whatever they're called. Yeah, vegetables are good carbs, but they're low. They're low carbs, aren't they? I love beetroot. Yeah, mate, plasticizer in the salads. Tony K, no, but they did get in contact with me today. They're going to, um, the bloke from Instagram got in contact with me. He's going to go back into work on Monday. Um, and he's going to get in contact with me and let me know how they're getting on with my, with me Blakes. Charlotte Knowles, are you going to box someone soon? <laughs> yeah, probably Kieran. Can't believe your mate Kieran. He ain't me mate, I just sort of knew him. White bread's bad, brown bread's bad. There's not much difference in it. Broccoli and chicken. Yeah, see, meat's not no good for us, really. Meat's actually pretty bad for you. Scott Grant, what's your goal in life, mate? Uh, just to be happy, mate. What's my favourite animal? Probably a dog. Why did Kieran knock you your money, Charlie? What a wally. Oh, he basically, um, he just countercharged me a load of labour for one of his labourers. Um, he was supposed to get me, he was supposed to have a forklift there. I priced the job with a forklift uh, and, and he changed it. About two weeks in, he changed it to no forklift. So then it become a very labour intensive job. And I said he needed to get one of his labourers in to help out. Um, and he agreed to it. But at the end of the job, he's turned around and said, oh, I'm charging you for that labour. And he knocked me fucking loads of money for it. When I saved him probably two grand without, with him having a forklift, no forklift there. And then I also saved him about two grand because he didn't put a floor down for it to be fucking safe for health and safety. Miss me. I missed you, baby. So, yeah, I saved him about four grand there and then he decided to knock me nearly a grand. So he, he, he saved about five grand. Wanker. Arsehole. Wanker. Yeah, he's a wanker. He, he's just a greedy prick. Do you know what I mean? I've done a good job um, and I was really fucking... I ain't going to cry about it because I'll make it back in no time. But um, do you know what I mean? You, you don't tell someone they've got a forklift drive, uh, forklift there to get all your bricks, your blocks and everything up. And then, do you know what I mean? And then he had the cheek to turn around and charge me for his labourer to get the tools up, the materials up, which weren't part of my um, price. <clears throat> all right, Ben Feeney. Yeah, there's two Kierans. There's my mate Kieran. 
Bricky 1000. He's only done that because he saw how much money you made. Had it happened to me before, you're probably making more than him and he doesn't like it. That's exactly what my dad said. Um, I remember <laughs> I booked in like fucking six grand in like a fucking week or something like that. And he was like, what? What? How much do you earn? How much do you earn? And then, yeah, I don't think he liked it. <laughs> But yeah, then I've done another done another week and a half, booked in like another fucking six grand. So yeah, I don't think he he was too impressed with how much I was earning because obviously I just had young young bucks there teaching them how to lay, and I was just steaming through the work. But then he just countercharged me. <laughs> he countercharged me his blokes. Yeah, well, I was debating um, to actually do a little video on Dead and Vale building services um, just to warn other bricklayers about him, you know. But I didn't know if that would be a bit petty. <laughs> Wheat and bread. <laughs> yeah, bread is just no good. Come on, this, this is, this, we know this, rogue traders, yeah. Yeah, I should get him shamed, really, shouldn't I? I could really do some damage to him, I reckon. You ever destroy your own work over money not paid? No, um, to be honest with you, I always get the feeling that they're going to try and knock your fight. They always try and knock you a grand or two at the end of every job. So, um, uh, you know, when you do like these one-off builds for people you don't know uh, too well, you know, you need to really think, oh, they're probably going to fucking try and knock me. Because <laughs> that's how it works. You can't do fuck all about it, really. Well, I don't know how to do anything about it anyway, you know. Will there be money, more money at Bricklayer in years to come, in your own opinion? <laughs> Unless they come up with some other way of building houses, then <laughs> there's not many Bricklayers around. People just can't get Bricklayers. What size trowel do you use? Uh, I don't go for any bigger than nine inch, mate. Little tip on private jobs. Never leave a lot of money in it until the end. It gets the customer brain ticking about how much you... Am I back? Am I back? There we go. There we go. We're back. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I booked in... See, I only booked in about three times. How many lads do you have working for you now? Amy... Harry, I've got another one starting called Liam tomorrow. I've got the old boy, Warren, and then I might have another uh, improver starting, so five. Would you rate Marshalltown trails? I've, I've actually just ordered a Marshalltown trail. Um, oh, oh, this is really got aching. <sighs> Where can I get a good belt, mate? Um, Amazon do good belts. Joshua Hogg, does the site manager count your bricks per day? No, I get given a price and I have to get it done as quick as I can to get that price. Could I use a scaffold spanner to lay bricks? I could probably lay bricks with a fucking spoon quicker than most. <laughs> That's a bit big-headed, isn't it? 
<laughs> what do you mean, yeah? <laughs> I, I reckon I could lay, lay more bricks than most of you wankers with a spoon. <laughs> Anyone want to come and race me and I'll, I'll beat them with a spoon? <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> I've got I got a little fucking uh there's a little four inch trowel, um a proper old school worn out trowel in that box. <laughs> it's literally about that. I reckon I'd have to do two scoops to lay one brick with it. Bring back Umbro. I'd love to get Umbro back. What would you say the best belt is, Charlie, on Amazon? I'll race you, mate. Yeah, come race me, Benny boy. I'll give you a, I'll give you a trail for free if you can beat me. What site am I on tomorrow? I'm holding. Amy. Come on. Don't do that. Ooh, just had the view I had right now. Ooh, hello, girl. Wee <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 You're putting me off. Just... All right, hang on, where was he? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> lost where I am. Evening, James. Right, where the fuck? All right, Jolly Ollie. Uh, what site are you on tomorrow? Uh, Molden. Evening, Charlie. What? Why have you ordered a Marshall Town Trail? You said they were pants yesterday. Yeah, they are pants. But I went into uh, B and Q today, and they don't have that silly wax thing on them anymore. And um, I thought. I seen a little nine inch, uh, uh, nine inch uh, London pattern on Amazon. I thought, ah, fuck it, give it a go. See if they've got any better. They must have had a lot of complaints about that wax stuff they put on it because they ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> you haven't seen the size of my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, go and get my spoon, my big spoon. The big fucker. Because <laughs> I said I'm going to beat them all with a spoon. But I didn't say what size the spoon was. <laughs> what, the black spoon? Yeah, the big black spoon. <laughs> yeah, I will I, I will. I will pay someone if they can come and beat me. It's in the casserole mix. Yeah, that's the plastic one. Yeah. You can't beat people with that. Which one are you talking about? Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. I reckon I could beat anyone <laughs> with that. With that little fucker. I reckon I could pick and dip. <laughs> I reckon I'd pick and dip anyone with this. Out pick and dip anyone with this. Uh, <laughs> that's cheating. Yeah. State of my fucking mop. Right. Hang on. Where was I? Charlie, what did, do you mean when you say you don't class Roof as a tradesman? I didn't, I've never said that. Can't find a nine inch wide London if anyone knows anywhere. Amazon. I bought one earlier. Unless it was a uh, narrow. 
I was on site and they said I couldn't have my board up high because they health and safety. Fuck off. Why do you order trousers when you have a hundred? Because <laughs> I'm a, because I love me job and I like I don't know I just I, I don't know I've got an obsession with trails I'm a weirdo. <laughs> yes, I am. Why do I use a, br a sponge instead of a brush for pointing? Use one and you'll find out. It's so much neater. It takes any little smudges off. Doesn't leave any brush marks. What type of handle do you go for on a trail? I like a wooden handle, me personally. How many trails do you take to work? <laughs> I don't know, I've got about six in the van at all times. I don't know, I'll just see how I feel on the day, really. If I'm doing block work, I'll probably use uh, my Spear and Jackson um, or my wide London uh, W Rose 9-inch. I don't know, I just... If I ain't used the trail for a few weeks, then I, I like to change it about. I like, I don't know, I'm a bit weird. Let's see your trail collection. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. I'm not getting them all out. That's one of my favourite trails, that one. W Rose, nine inch. I don't use it for a little while. Um, I've got about six trails down in the van. I've got about 80 trails over there. <laughs> How long are you classed as an improver? Everyone's different, so. Um, it just depends on your skill level. It's not a trail, it's a pizza slice. That is a fucking trail. That is a good trail. Where is it? W Rose. W Rose, USA. Fucking P P Pucker Trail. How many trousers have you broke? Do I what? Know where your trousers are? Glasses. Oh, glasses. Nah. How many trousers have I broke? Uh, probably two or three. Do you regret your tattoos? Will you in the future? Yeah, I got a couple I regret. Um, but nothing I can't sort out. Check the lift on the wide London Marshall Town. Mine was seriously high and I binned it. Yeah, I don't like a high lift. <coughs> that lift is, um, I think that the lift on these W Roses are spot on. With the um, Marshall Town, 
the actual lift is more like that, but the trail's obviously like that. So when you, it's, I, I think Marshall Town have gone downhill, but I've just bought another one just to see if I still think they're shit. <laughs> Do I have a lot of Kieran tattoo? Oh. <laughs> Do I have an I love Kieran tattoo? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Who does my tats? Uh, Inkworks in Coaster. I got a W Rose. It's lovely. Yeah, Ben. Um, the... Uh, yeah, oh, hang on, let me grab one, hang on. Oh, this is um, one of the broad hills. This is an old, old... Um, you can tell because of the uh, metal ferrule, whatever it's called on the end. Um, but this is one of the old... Broad hills, the old ones. This is a 12 inch. Um, I'll probably be cutting this one down. It's massive. This is this is what would give you um, tennis elbow and a bad wrist. A lot of extra weight all day, every day. It's not good. <laughs> If I weren't a bricky, what would I be? Probably a chippy or an artist or a tattooist. I I almost got into tattooing. Still use the fits brick. Oh, yeah, every day, day in, day out. Absolutely love a fits brick clamp. It's just so, I love it because my main reason I like it is, um, you know, you get a long, long pull of brickwork. I like using it as a tingle. It just doesn't move once it's set. And I love it for internal corners. You know, when you do like top three courses of block work and you bang a pin into the top course of block and it always fucking cracks it, you just don't have that trouble with these fits bricks. I absolutely love them. <laughs> How much have you spent on tattoos? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> 25 grand? 20 grand? Fuck no, I ain't got a clue. Do a van tour vid. Nah, it's a bit messy at the minute. I hope you got some pound for promoting them. Uh, I got sent some for free. And yeah, he did send me a few quid, actually. He said he sold a lot of them. But I wouldn't promote something that I don't think is any good. Ben Feeney, cut it down. Yeah, I will do, mate. I'll, I'll get on it for you, all right? BT engineering stuff are a boss, but never in stock. I know. <laughs> I've got so much BT engineering stuff now. Um, but I'm actually looking forward to using some Blakes again. Um, because you just need a bag of tools, bag of stuff for Blakes. Um, there's a lot of stuff um, for BT engineering. There's a lot of stuff for it. Uh, I don't, I'm getting fed up with uh, using the timber clamps and crawling underneath them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back to the Blakes for a bit. You, you should just set them up and leave them there, can't you? Can you use a trowel with your left hand? Yes, I can. I am amsbidextrous, and I mainly use my left hand when I'm doing a uh, gable 
because it's uh, easier to use your left hand when you're doing the right hand side of a gable to do your bed. Um, and it's easier to lay your bricks on the left hand side of a gable with your right hand rather than your left hand. Anyone, anyone out there know what I mean? How many tea clamps you got? About eight. If your uncle wasn't a brickie, you think you would have been able to get into the trail in a manageable amount of time? Uh, who knows? I'm sure I'd have found a way somehow. But yeah, I was quite lucky that my... I didn't know my uncle was a brickie when I started my apprenticeship at college, um, when I started down at the college. Um, but then, luckily enough, my uncle was a bricklayer, so he got me a job with him. Can you recommend a tool belt? Uh, I, d I just put in tool belt and picked up the first one that come, mate. Plumber or electrician? I'd say plumbers probably earn better than electrician, didn't they? So I'd probably say a plumber. Alex Wilson. Oh, you finally got a... Uh, you finally got a actual insulation knife. Uh, so nice, isn't it? So nice. You actually want to cut the insulation because it actually cuts so easy, doesn't it? What's your most amount of bricks laid in a day? Uh, honestly, uh, I can never remember. Uh, I've I've done a lot though. Mrs. just brought you a fit brick for the birthday. Nice one. Have you used ox tools? Do you know what? I haven't used ox tools, and for some reason, I just I I look at them as tacky. And cheap. I just don't. I just don't think they look um, professional. I just think they they're just like a knockoff tool. You got the ox line. Oh, actually, I do use the ox line. I do like the ox line, but it snaps quite a lot. Um, uh, I've been laying for about 17 years now. Can you pull the line tight with them fits bricks? Yes, very tight. <laughs> they're literally, they're stuck on there. Third time lucky. Have you considered going into extensions? You and your labour, good prices, steady, different work. Us, the apprentices would learn setting out, etc. Plus a lot easier on your body as you get older. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, you do, I just don't know what's around the corner with me, do you know what I mean? It's always changing, you know, one minute I'm doing one thing, the next minute I'm doing the next. Um, see you later, Ben. So, yeah, I don't know, I, I like consistency, I like to work consistency, I like, I like to know what I'm doing, do you know? Footprint line is the best line. I actually just bought a big roll of that footprint line, actually. It's pretty decent. Thoughts on silver line. Haven't used it. How old were you when you started boxing? 28? <laughs> 27? Started at a very late age. Trent Snook, I just want to say I really enjoy watching your videos and look forward to coming home after work and watching these videos. Top work, mate. Thank you. The Kingspan insulation popular in your area. Kingspan, not really. We use rock wall, really. Who would win in a fight between all the trades on site? <laughs> Bricklayers, obviously. <laughs> Did you work on the Stanway site? What one? Uh, I don't think, no, no. What, behind, um, near Ar Argus? Nah, if that's the one you mean. No, I didn't. Video tomorrow night. 
What's the plan for tomorrow, mate? Uh, well, got a new lad starting. So that means Amy can, should be on the trail constantly. But Amy's got to catch up with some uni work. When are you catching up with it? Wednesday and f Thursday and... F Wednesday and Thursday? Huh? Are you catching up with uh, uni f Wednesday and Thursday? Yeah, so Amy should be on the trail constantly, laying to the line with me. So, um, yeah. Get your hair cut. Yeah, well, I will when the shop's open again. How much your laser levels, Charlie? Uh, if you're looking for a good one, you're looking probably around six to eight hundred quid. Your van okay, Charlie? I work on them all day. What do you do then, Jolly Ollie? Do you do do you do uh, internal stuff, dear? There's not many good little extension gangs around. Sight lads usually crash them in at weekends. Not a good look for the client. Could be a niche market with variety. Yeah. It's the thing though. It's, it's hard to keep yourself going with uh, extensions all the time, isn't it? Um, and I don't like organising stuff all the time. I like to do labour only, turn up. Materials are already sorted. It's just less stress. I got a hairdresser who comes to the house. Yeah, I wish I had an hairdresser that would come to my house. Why you got two commercial vehicles? Uh, because I had a van, I had a truck, and I decided to want a van, and I kept the truck. Yeah, there's quite a lot of house building going on in Colchester. How do you get into laying? Do you have to start from the bottom? Yeah, you you got to start from the bottom, mate. It's like any any job, you got to start from the bottom and work your way up. Looking forward to tomorrow. When are you and Amy getting married? Well, I already asked her and she said no, so. <laughs> <laughs> Random one. How old are you? How old do you think I am? Don't you say anything. Hang on, let me get my... How old do you think... Hang on, let me do my hair a little bit. How, how old do you think I am? <laughs> Rock and Bream, traditional poor... Block and beam or traditional wet pour? Uh, I like block and beam. Uh, well, don't really matter, does it? I don't do it, so. 15, 53, 53, 17, 18, 42, 40, 18. December 1988. <laughs> How do you know that? Uh, yeah, 32. My two trail mates should be landing this week. I'll let you know if it's not a rip-off, mate. Paul, honestly, mate, I was going to order about 20, and I thought, I was like, no. Some cunts probably made this website up because they know every cunt's looking for them. So let me know if you get them, if they turn up, and then I will buy some. You're only as old as the woman you're feeling. 20. <laughs> I'm only 20 then. Do you rate gated back mortar boards? Yeah, I do rate them, but I don't rate the price that they try and charge you for them. It's a joke.
limited company, same as me, gives birth date. <laughs> Fair enough. Artwork, seen it, you're skilled. <laughs> did you go through my Instagram, did ya? Check out some of my old pictures. Sean Pennick, I have trail mates for sale, if anyone interested. Are they them ones you made yourself? Yeah, go, go have a look on my Instagram, on my personal page. Scroll down and you'll see some of my old artwork. Amy's 20. Lucky me. Paul, I ordered a trail, mate, in December. I'm still waiting, my friend. It ain't coming. Max Harris, would you recommend getting into Brick Lane? Yeah, of course I would. I love my job, so... I'd recommend anyone doing it. If you've got a bit of arty farty yes about you and you like a bit of hard graft and you're a quick learner, get into Brick Lane. Yeah. Hey, would you recommend going for a Brick Lane apprenticeship with a big company? To be honest, Jamie, you're probably going to uh, learn more if you go into a big company, I think. Uh, you'll find that you'll get used for labour if you go with um, most brickies. Can you pick and dip block work? You can. Uh, you have to... It's a, you can only do it with cell cons, though. You pick the cell con up, perp the block at the board, and then you take your muck or with, with your trowel and spread it and just lay the block. But I, I don't find it very that efficient what's the website for the trail mates called charlie i don't know i can't remember mate apparently i'm a cradle snatcher babe because <laughs> you're only 20. are you jealous are you <laughs> uh. vaping builder all right mate Did you watch the Tricky Bricky last night? Uh, <laughs> what, round his... Uh, was that his ex-girlfriend's house? That was quite funny, wasn't it? I, I was up quite late last night because uh, I had a little nap during the day, about three o'clock, uh, for about three hours. So it come to my normal bedtime, which is I usually go to bed at about 10 o'clock, and uh, I was wide awake. So I went back online, and since Tricky Bricky was online at about... I don't know, half 11, 12? <laughs> he was steaming. Uh, it's funny. I say a good plaster is clearly cleaner than brick layers in the world. Sorry, but true. See, people don't actually realise how much neater pick and dip is um, than to traditional, like, spreading the muck around and playing with it. Because you don't realise how much um, little bits of excess muck flick off your trowel when you're perping your bricks like one two three to perp a brick and it a little bit flicks off each time uh and you're spreading your muck out you're picking it up at the back but little bits fall off um i can actually keep the scaffold spotless when i use pick and dip compared to anyone else who uses tra traditional when i want to <laughs> I'm off to get some ice cream. I've got you down as a mint chop chip kind of guy, child. Nah, I'm chocolate, mate. Chocolate or strawberry? Oh, I like mint chocolate. You like mint chocolate? Oh, ooh. Have we got any ice cream? Mm. No. I want some now. Oh, I want some ice cream now. Oh, it's closed. Shut. Go on. 
Oh. I ain't going to the shop now. Fuck that. Ever put a pig in the wall? <laughs> no, I'm very, very good at uh, keeping everything in to gauge, and I and I, I just don't understand how bricklayers can get pigs in walls and not realise they've done it because you can just feel it. You can feel a wall getting high one end or the other. You've only got to take a look at your block work and you can see it if it's, a, if it's getting fucking high or low. How many bricks can you lay? About 10,000 a day. There you go. <laughs> okay, I can. I'll, I reckon I'll lay on average 10,000 bricks a day. I reckon I can shit gold. You reckon you can shit gold? Show me. <laughs> you and Amy like your sweets ask Amy Charlie how many easter eggs are you going to eat what? I read it as it said it oh my god I am ready for bed what time is it 20 past 8 I'm 54 now, but in uh, the 80s, you used to work direct to the building company on 715 or, or SC60. No brick baron. Yeah, there's loads of fucking brick barons now, and they just take a big chunk of the slice. And I think it's ridiculous, really. Um, I think if, if bricklayers got the direct price, you'd get so much better quality of work. Alfie Hunt. Well, I reckon if I pushed it, mate, I could probably do 21. What prices are you given on extensions? Well, I, I price my own extensions, but usually you, you'd chart. It depends because it's a lot more labour intensive, isn't it? So... Uh, where you'd usually get 15, 50 a meter on site, you're looking probably more 25, 30 pound a meter for block work, so three pound a block to lay it. And then you're probably looking around 800, 1,000 to a, a pound of brick, depending on <laughs> how hard it is to get the gear there. How many with a spoon? More than you. <laughs> What's a pig in the building world? A pig means that on one end of the house, a builder, a bricklayer has done 25 courses, but on the other end of the house, they've squeezed 26 bricks into the, into the same height and you've run it into the same level. So it is basically a brick at a level from one end of the house to the other which happens more often than not with shit bricklayers when starting out do you think a 1910 trail would be better than a 1911 honestly i think even a 10 inch trail is too big i really don't see the fashion fascination of big trails um you might have to go to the board a bit more, but because it because your trail's small and you, the muck you're picking up is so light, you just don't feel like it's um, wearing away at your arm compared to, you know, like, like 1911 trails where the muck's just heavy all day on your wrist and it just slows you down in the end, whereas with a small trail, you can just fucking steam through that muck all day. Alfie Hunt, I'm the best bricky here. Yeah? Come come show me what you got, son. Come and show me what you got. Matty Tompkins. Always believe that people remember the good jobs. And, and what lets so many people down is he done good job, but... 
the mess he made always every trade be clean i can see you are yeah i'm very fussy with um things being kept tidy kept tidy kept tidy um even um last week we done the third lift now most bricklaying gangs wouldn't clean out the bottom lift until the whole house is built but even though we've got bits of scaffold in there, I sent you and uh, Harry down, didn't I? Hmm? Oh, I sent Amy and Harry down just to get all the bottoms cleaned out and or everything just reorganised, and it just looks it just looks professional. So many bricklayers give give us bad names for not having enough labour to keep things tidy all the time. So concerned about the labourer keeping them going that the labourer can't usually clean up as well as he should do. When putting up a sign, would you drill into the mortar or the brick? Uh, the mortar, because the mortar you can repoint, can't you? Do you like work on scaffolds? It's just a my daily job, mate. I don't even think about it anymore. <laughs> Have you ever used lime mortar? Yeah, mate. Chris White, yeah, mate, hundred um, percent. Weather makes a big difference in our game, doesn't it? So, um, all I'm worried about Monday is the forklift, new forklift driver being inducted, because we're we've got two packs of blocks over at the plot we're on now, which ain't we're gonna have that loaded out before he even gets over there, and then all the trades are gonna want lifts. So, and I've got, I'm gonna have. Me, Amy, uh, Warren, Harry, and the new hottie, Liam, coming over. So there's going to be five of us waiting there. Now, this is where um, I can start to lose a lot of money very quickly. Um, where, when you up your gang size, you get your bigger wage bill. And if that if your gear isn't coming over consistently, consistently you're better off just being a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I will lose my temper very quickly if the so if the um forklift driver's no good. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about tomorrow. Uh I'm just gonna try and get on with it. If the service is no good, I'll just uh ring up my contractor and say, look, we're not getting any service, we're going home and then I'll make a big scene out of it. You mad, Amy's, James, Jamie's. How much you earning? Fuck you now. Do you want to build yourself? A few yeah, yeah. I do want to build myself something in the future. Yeah. Would you get a forklift driver license? Uh, part of me wants to. Part of me. Part of me don't. Around stone and lime work, Charlie, you should do a little video on laying a panel of bricks with cement mortar and then a panel with hot lime. I've never used hot lime. What's that, mate? You ever slip a 40, 20 quid? <laughs> Fuck me, I used to slip uh, when I was uh, at Bewley Park. I was slipping my forklift driver fucking like 50 quid every other week. And I give him like 400 quid bonus at Christmas, cash. Are you allowed to take your top off during summer? Nah, not on most sites. How much protein do you get a day? <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. If it happens, Charlie, get the big scene on camera. <laughs> do you want, uh, yeah, I'll look like a right tosser on on what me giving it to the forklift driver. 
Shall I? Shall I? Uh, if if he don't get me gear, shall I? Um, shall I video it? <laughs> and you can all see my, what I'm like off camera. <laughs> Would you say Stabila have the best levels? Yes, 100%. Do you mind snoring? Huh? Do you mind snoring? Hey, do you? He's a beautiful boy, isn't he? Hey. Where you working at the minute? Molden, mate. Essex. Alfie, Simon, what do you earn? <laughs> uh, what are you up to this week, Big C? All right, Blonde Bricky. Uh, square plots, mate. Straights, forward square plots. Um, the only thing that might hold me back is I've got a new forklift driver starting. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I'll... I lose my temper quite quickly if a forklift driver don't get me gear. <laughs> he just fucking slid off. Did you see him? <laughs> Alfie Hunt, I like triangle plots. Do ya? I've never built a triangle plot, mate. Let me know how that is. Yeah, Lee, we're going for videos this week, mate. We're going for videos. We'll see. We'll see what the forklift driver's like. Depend. I honestly, a forklift driver is who earns your money. You know. Uh, barring obviously yourself, then your hog carrier, the next person in line is the fucking forklift driver. If you ain't getting gear, you ain't earning money. And a lot of lot of uh forklift drivers know that. So they'll go slow as fuck till you go, yeah, oh, here's twenty quid or here's fifty quid. Rommel Saint, get everyone to give you a thumbs up. Yeah, there's four other, 400 of you in here and you ain't give me a thumbs up. Come on. Press that like button. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, there we go. 15. There we go. We're, we're, off. we're off. 120. Yeah, come on, boys and girls. Hit that like button if you think I've got a big cojone nose. If you think I've got a big nose, hit that like button. Fuck me, it's flying up, look. <laughs> it went from 100 to 150. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Smash the like button, people. <laughs> How much does a forklift driver make per day? They're usually only on about 120 to 150 a day. Backbone of your progress. Yeah, 100%. How's me old boy doing? Amy, how's me old boy doing? <laughs> me old man. Yeah, he's all right. He's all loved up, bless him. Can you stop distracting me, please? Oh, sorry, babe. See you later, Carl.
Amy, get, get Amy to sort out memberships for your channel. What's memberships? Why, why would you get a membership to my channel? You just subscribe, didn't you? It's free. Are you going to start selling your work gear? Uh, probably one day, I don't know. I'm not really all about all that shit. It's just effort, isn't it? Uh, have you finished racking out the van? Well, to be honest, I want to take it all back out <laughs> and redo it different. I want to get it, like, professionally, professionally done. I want to get it all, like, uh... Uh... Oh, I don't know. I'm too tired. I'm going in a minute. Do you ever forget your wall ties? It's not that I forget them. It's just sometimes when I'm on my last couple of courses of block work, I think, ah, when I... Because you have to go around the back and point it in. And, I mean, it's it's well frowned upon, but I just push them in and slide them to the side slightly and then just point them in. But uh, it's, it's just quicker just to do that sometimes around the back on the last couple of courses. But everyone forgets a fucking wall tie. You're not... No one, I don't think any bricklayer on this planet has not forgotten to put a wall tie in. But some are a lot worse than others. Do you know Craig Sistak? No, don't think so. How many hours sleep do you get normally? I like to get... How many hours do I get? I usually go to bed about nine, don't I? Nine, ten? Stop distracting me. Oh, fuck, sorry. Uh, nine, ten. Yeah, I usually get about eight hours sleep. There's a there's a idea. We were watching Tricky Bricky last night. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Who needs a trial, mate, when you can make one like mine? I tell you what, about five people have sent me their homemade ways of um, making trial mates, and they've done some good jobs on it. And all I tell you, Amy. Excuse me? Well, get out of my own flat. Yep. Windows 7, where are you from? Essex. The tricky bricky smashed someone's wife last night. <laughs> Typical bricklayer, isn't it? I forgot to plumb a profile sometimes, have you? Um, to be honest, I can feel when a when a level when a profile ain't level, but usually you'd have laid a few courses and it'd be a bit out, wouldn't it? But you do usually re realise, don't you? You've forgotten the DPC. No, you can't forget the DPC. Fuck me. You'll know straight away. Ellie Wiggins. Yeah, I'm filming tomorrow. What time of the time do you think you're most efficient laying? What time of the day? Probably uh, I'd say eight till two. 
and then I um, then I start to slack a bit. Cheers, Max. Graham, you watched my boxing. <laughs> Most of the ones that are on YouTube, I fucking lost. Ah. Oh. Keep going on about me here. I know it's a nightmare, isn't it? It is a lot of hair. What are you laughing at? Are you laughing at my hair? I know it is a lot of hair. <laughs> it is, though, isn't it? Look at the state of it. I look like a fucking Jedward for fuck. I need to go to sleep, babe. I do, don't I? I'm so tired. I look like fucking Jedward. Look at that, look. I look like fucking uh, Goku off of Dragon Ball Z. No? You don't know who that is? Come on, you must know who fucking Goku is. <laughs> Super Saiyan! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, uh, that 420 guy. I'm a qualified player, I think. Is the infamous ret retender? I don't know what you... F I can't... I'm so fucking tired. More like Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like a troll. Are you a Patrick Swayze van? Yeah, I love a bit of Patrick Swayze. Do you have patience with the new people working for you? I I have the patience of a saint when it comes to teaching people, but what I don't have patience with is people letting me down because the way I see it is I'm losing money to teach you a trade or I'm, too, I'm losing money to teach someone new a trade and then they don't have the decency to turn up on time or they don't turn up on a Monday because they feel ill. Now, look, let's be honest. No one gets ill on a Sunday night. The only people that don't turn up on a Monday are people that get fucked at the weekends because you've worked hard all week now, if you relax all weekend, you're ready to rock and roll Monday. Now, if you've got on the piss all weekend, then you ain't turning up to work Monday. Well, a lot of people don't. That's why you get so many Monday clubbers. <clears throat> and that's what my patience is really thin with, is people not turning up or letting me down or turning up late. I, can, I don't mind someone turning up late every now and then, but turning up late every day, if someone turns up late every day for a week, they're gone. No, I don't ever get elbow pain. Twelve hour days in summer. No, my days of working anywhere past four are long gone. Um, I like to get to site for 10 to 7. I like to have my half hour break at 10, half hour break at 1. And I like to be packing up by about 20 to 4. If you can't make your money in that time, then you might as well give up. And if at the end of the day, it ain't what you earn, it's what you save that makes you rich. So there's no point in working your ass off and then spending all that money. You might as well just not work as hard and earn as much and spend as much. J 
Jamie Blackmore. Jamie Blackmore, get in touch with me on Facebook or Instagram, mate. Um, I Everyone seems to be sending me jobs around April time because that is a good time to build. Um, but yeah, just if you want to talk about work, mate, uh, any jobs, just send me, talk to me on Instagram or on Facebook. Uh, just, just look for Charlie Collison. Get yourself a haircut. Mate, I want a haircut so badly. I look about fucking 10 years older. I'm going to have a trim in a minute. I need a shave. Same hours as me, mate. Yeah, let's be honest. You want to get to work early. It makes you laugh because the site agent looks at you funny because you're leaving at like 20 to 4, quarter to 4, and they're there till 5. But they're sat in this fucking office all day doing fuck all. Just telling you how to do your job when they don't even know how to do their own. Rachel Louise. Hi, Rachel. Ah, Rachel, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a good week. We had a nice relaxing weekend with my little girl. Went for a nice, well, I went for a nice walk with the dog. Uh, went to see my nan and granddad today with, the, with little Livy uh, for a few hours. It was a nice day. Um, I've been eating some lovely food and I feel... I feel like I'm almost, almost stoned. <laughs> I'm that tired. I feel like I'm stoned. Do you know Heath Cockburn? <laughs> What's the best trail you have ever bought? Um, an old Marshall Town when they were when they were good, and it wore down to a lovely size, but some fucker nicked it. Nice hair. You remind me of them little troll, troll things we used to put on the end of the pencils at school. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, you know, the film Trolls. <laughs> what time do you go to bed when you have work? Uh, Any time between 9 and 10. Harrison Ranson. I'm a commission and punish... Commissioning engineer working on an apartment's worth 1.2 million to 1.6. Nice. For all you that keep asking me, yes, <laughs> I am videoing tomorrow. Thank you, Vaping Builder. How long for a two-in-one to do a bottom on a pair of free beds? That completely is irrelevant of it being a two and one. It depends on the bricklayers and the hog carrier. Um, you know, you could get two bricklayers that are rapid and can do just as much as four bricklayers. Um, and then if you get two slow bricklayers, they're gonna do it in half the time as, um, if I go by me, uh, a free bedder, two and one, if there was two of me with one, one hog carrier, which I'd never have because there's no way one hog carrier would keep up with two of me. Uh, three bed bottom. Uh, probably f three days. Pardon you. That was you. You liar. Come over here and fart and walk off. <laughs> 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 Yeah, she did. As if you come over here and farted. And then play me. Did you hear that? That was Amy, not me.
<laughs> Do you want to clone yourself? <laughs> no. Any plans to do anything decorative like Rob Songer? Uh, one of the jobs that I've priced <clears throat> has like um, some chimneys in it with like 16 plum points. Um, and it's a very decorative um, couple of uh, uh, chimneys uh, if I get it and if I do it. So, yeah, there will be some decorative work, hopefully in April, March time. What's that? What's that? What's that? Hello. <laughs> Ooh, that's not what it was. Wake up. Don't you dare. <laughs> it's a scone. Scone. How are you have to say it? Scone. <laughs> Thoughts on Adam's wall? Yeah, it's a nice little wall, isn't it? What are you laughing at? <sighs> Me? Why? Why? I thought you'd fall asleep on the couch. I didn't thought you'd fall asleep. How about you just say your goodbyes, babe? No. Look how tired you, you... are. What do you mean, look how tired I am? What's your fav way of laying bricks, Charlie? Pick and dips, probs. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just depends really, mate. Depends how I'm feeling, but mainly pick and dip. Brick laying was my first decision, yeah. Right, lads and lasses, I'm going to shoot because I'm fucking falling asleep here. I'm going to stick a film on. And Amy's going to tickle me toes. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go to sleep uh, hope you all look forward to my video tomorrow uh, I do appreciate you all um, with your support and love and shit make sure you like and uh, like my video tomorrow plenty of likes please helps my channel helps it reach out to other people and helps my channel grow but Honestly, take care, everyone. Um, I'll, I'll be probably going live again Saturday next week and then Sunday again next week. But till then, adios. Go then. Yeah, I am going. Yeah, I'm reading the comments. I'm reading the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, wait, hang on, just two minutes more. One minute, babe, can I just have 30 more seconds? <laughs> Fuck off.